In the Supreme Court today raised tough questions on a report by the OCCRP or Organized Crime and Corruption Project against the Adani Group. In the hearing today, the Supreme Court asked the petitioner Prashant Bhushan several tough questions. In fact, the court said that newspaper reports can't be taken as facts, referring to several of the articles which have come out making allegations against the Adani Group. The court said that um, the petitioner cannot level charges on SEBI the Securities and Exchange Board of India without proof and told Mr. Bhushan, what proof do you have against the Adani group? The Supreme Court also repeatedly wanted to know about steps being taken to protect small investors in the face of allegations such as those which have been raised. The court's order has been reserved. My colleague uh, Arvind Gunasekra joins us now for uh, more on this. Uh, Arvind, uh, you know, I mean, fairly, fairly strong remarks against Prashant Bhushan, what exactly were the allegations that he made and how did the court respond? There's no Supreme Court has a reserved verdict on a batch of pleas seeking investigation into Hindenburg report on Adani group of companies. Uh, today, Supreme Court took cognizance of SEBI's report. SEBI told the Supreme Court uh, that based on uh, based on Hindenburg report, SEBI initiated investigation into almost 24 uh, issues uh, pertaining to Adani group of companies. Of those 24 issues that were taken up for investigation, investigation has been completed in 22 issues and, and on remaining two issues, the investigation is currently underway. That's on number one. Supreme Court also wanted to uh, uh, get answers from SEBI on two other issues. Second uh, uh, issue regarding the regulatory framework of SEBI. So Supreme Court asked SEBI uh, what were the recommendations from expert committee on uh, on strengthening the regulatory framework of SEBI for which SEBI told that whatever the recommendations that were made by uh, expert committee, Supreme Court appointed expert committee on this regulatory uh, uh, framework, uh, central and also SEBI, finance ministry and also SEBI, both of them have taken all the recommendations uh, on record and both of them will be working on the recommendations of the uh, uh, of the Supreme Court appointed committee to strengthen the regulatory framework of SEBI. Third thing is very important, Vishnu. It's on the third issue that Supreme Court wanted SEBI to uh, work more on this particular aspect that pertains to uh, uh, protecting the interests of small investors uh, whenever short sellers come up with such reports attacking a, a corporate or a company. And that's why Supreme Court asked SEBI to work uh, to ensure that the interests of small investors are protected uh, when when short sellers go uh, on such an uh, such an attack against any particular corporate. Uh, on uh, Prashant Bhushan, Prashant Bhushan told the Supreme Court that uh, he does not or his or the petitioners they do not have trust in the SEBI uh, report because they said that uh, DRI way back in 2014 wrote to SEBI about some of the issues pertaining to Adani group of companies and SEBI has not been doing enough uh, since 2014. This is something pertaining to SEBI. And also regarding the expert committee, Supreme Court appointed expert committee, uh, the petitioners through Prashant Bhushan also raised questions on the integrity of the some of the members, especially on two of the members, uh, Prashant Bhushan raised questions for which Supreme Court said that these members were appointed way back in March and these members were appointed by Supreme Court itself, not by SEBI. And uh, the members submitted the report in May, but the objections on the membership of all these members were raised only in September this year. And that's why Supreme Court said that allegations cannot be made uh, randomly without any basis. Coming to uh, on the on the specific merit of this particular case, Supreme Court asked Prashant Bhushan uh, on what evidence uh, does he have uh, in order to substantiate his claims that SEBI has not done enough investigation for which he said he cited two reports, one OCCRP report and also Hindenburg report for which Supreme Court said that Hindenburg report cannot be taken as a gospel of truth. One, because Hindenburg is not before the Supreme Court and also very importantly, uh, any report that has that have been published by journalists or Hindenburg, they do not have evidentiary value for SEBI to take it on record for any kind of a quasi-judicial process. Coming to the OCCRP report, Solicitor General appearing for SEBI raised some pertinent questions on OCCRP for which he told the Supreme Court that center SEBI reached out to OCCRP asking for more detail, more details pertaining to its report but OCCRP refused to share any data, any report. Instead, they diverted SEBI towards an NGO linked to Prashant Bhushan and that's why he said that if at all if there is any conflict of interest that is with Prashant Bhushan and OCCRP and OCCRP report uh, cannot be taken at face value because several reports are being published outside India in order to influence the policies in India and that's why SEBI cannot act per se on the reports. So hearing both the side argument, today's Supreme Court has reserved its orders on a batch of pleas.